Hey folks, welcome back. A few weeks ago, I showed you on my channel my free audio visualizers, a spectrogram, a spectrum analyzer and a vector scope. And I made a video about this here. You can rewatch it if you want to, because I also show you how I use this here on my small screen on my desk. And um, the special thing about this is that you don't need a login. You don't need a subscription. You don't need to pay money. All you need to do is basically a browser and go to this URL and then you can use um, these kind of visualizers completely for free. Okay. I also coded all these um, applications without using any library or framework or anything like that. So it's all available on my GitHub so you can fork it or tweak it or make some changes to it. It's completely free, right? Um, so in this video, I showed you here the vector scope and the spectrum analyzer. And what's missing was here the uh, spectrogram because I need to work a bit on it. And today I want to show you uh, exactly this visualizer, how it looks like and how you can use it. So um, now this is available here on this blog page or blog post. You can click on it or you can just use the URL here at the top. You can see spectrogram.polarity.me. It's very simple. You can open it up in any browser, like I said. So when you are on this web page here, all you need to do is to hit this start button down here. And then the browser asks you to allow to use the audio engine. So here I'm using my loopback device because it records all the stuff happening on my PC, right? Everything that comes from any application, also the ASIO on, um, on Windows. So I just use this, allow it. And then it starts to um, record here or to show you the visuals. So now in the background here, I start some kind of music. And you can see here, it draws all the spectrum information to this graph. And what we can do now is we can open up here the controls and then tweak a bit. We can, for instance, change the FFT size because at the moment it's just uh, 2048 here and I go to 4000 maybe. So you get more information here. You can also tweak here uh, some thresholds what kind of bins you want to uh, let pass or want to show. You can change the contrast here. You can change the color theming if you want to change that or use a custom theme. We'll go back to heat map here. Maybe choose something different here. Let me use this one here. Maybe stop here. So now we can hit this pause button here, right? And it says resume here, but we can also see now this sticks in place or it's paused. So what we can do now is we can hover over this uh, spectrogram here and you can see we, uh, this is here the note F sharp four, this is D four, right? So what we can do now is we can do the same thing as in the application I showed you also a few videos ago called note grabber. You can just click and drag here the notes into this uh, spectrogram. Um, highlight some stuff here. Uh, something like this. And then get some of these notes out, right? You can see here it's D4, F4, F sharp 4 and so on. But you can also then hit export and then we download here a MIDI file. And you can then use this inside of uh, Bitwig Studio here if you want to. Let me guess here, download. So we download this or just move this in. You can see we have all the notes here inside of a note clip. So you can use this also not only to show what's going on inside of your frequency spectrum, we can also try and use this to analyze some uh, harmonies in there and extract notes from polyphonic audio. Um, what I want to do in the future is it needs some tweaking here. It's not the perfect um, visualizer at the moment. You can see all the frequencies in the right place. That's kind of working. 
but I'm working on making this more clear, more uh, visible what's going on um, harmonically. So I'm introduced here a tonal persistence uh, kind of slider that tries to filter out all the noise, right? We only want to have persistent frequencies, tonal information. So I tried to do this with this here, but it's not really working um, correctly. And then I'm also trying to implement here the reassignment method. Um, that's kind of a method uh, someone talked in, in the video about um, spectrum analyzers or um, spectrograms, that they are not really um, high resolution in low with low FFT size. So I'm trying to go here for low FFT sizes and then use this reassignment uh, method here, which tries to analyze some phase uh, information to find um <clears throat> yeah to, to find the right frequencies even though you have just a low fft size so this should make things then much much clearer in terms of what's going on harmonically inside of the spectrogram but it's still work in progress here but i want to give you actually here an early access to this spectrogram so you can use it also on your a smartphone not only on your browser because the smartphone has also a browser and it works fairly well on the iPhone uh, for me at least so um, yeah the URL is down in the comments also here uh, my my blog post from early on also the video I showed you a few weeks ago so please try this out give me some feedback um, like the video subscribe to the channel Go to patreon whatever you want to do um, let me know i also open for feature requests if you want to have something in there um, i try to bring it in or maybe there are some people who want to uh, put some time into these github repos and code stuff in for themselves i don't know so do some pull requests on github if you want to um, I'm open for everything. This is just a fun project and I want to do this here. And I think it's actually great to have something in the browser that's completely free, no ads, right? No cookies, no subscription, no login, no tracking, nothing. Just pure JavaScript application, no libraries, fast loading, free for everyone, free until the end of time, right? So that's how it should be in my opinion. Um, my opinion, if you can afford it, of course, I can afford it because I have a lot of Patreons. They support me and I'm really thankful for them subscribing on Patreon, making this possible that I can just, you know, take two, three, four days and just make stuff like this. It's it's very nice um, to have. And um, I'm very, very grateful for that. So thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave me a comment down below, leave a subscription. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye.